2020 was equal mathematics. Paper 2, question 2. A. Make y the subject of the relation p equals 2x multiplying square root of a fraction with numerator k bracket open 1 plus a fraction with numerator r squared and denominator y squared bracket closed with denominator s. Our first step will be to get rid of the square root sign and this can be done by squaring both sides of the equal sign of which the result will be p squared equals 4x squared bracket open a fraction with numerator ky squared plus kr squared and denominator y squared s bracket closed now we need to get rid of the denominator so we can multiply through by the denominator of the LCM which is y squared s which will now give us p squared y squared s equals 4x squared ky squared plus 4x squared qr squared now we need to make y the subject and y could be found in p squared y squared s and can also be found in 4x squared ky squared which means we can subtract 4x squared ky squared from both sides of the equal sign and then factorize y squared which will now give us y squared bracket to pin p squared s minus 4 x squared equals 4 x squared r squared q now we want y so we can divide by p squared s minus 4 x squared to make y squared a subject but since we are looking for y not y squared we need to find positive square root of both sides which will give us y equals plus or minus square root of a fraction with numerator 4x squared r squared q and denominator sp squared minus 4x squared q B. Given that m equals 3, n equals minus 2, and x equals minus 1, calculate 2mn squared x over 3m minus n. If m equals 3, n equals minus 2 and x equals minus 1 then 2mn squared x over 3m minus n will be equal to 2 multiplying m which is 3 multiplying n which is minus 2 squared multiplying x which is minus 1 all over 3 multiplying m which is 3 minus n which is minus 2 Simplifying this will give us 2 times 3 giving us 6. Minus 2 squared will give us 4 and then minus 1 all over 3 times 3 which is 9 minus minus 2 which will give us plus 2. When we further simplify we will have 
6 multiplying 4, which will give us 24. Multiplying minus 1, which will give us minus 24. All over 9 plus 2, which will give us 11. So we have minus 24 over 11, which is an improper fraction and can be converted to a mixed fraction, which will give us minus 2 whole number 2 over 11.